We're going to move on to the next candidate. Uh, Judge Linda Yanez is our candidate for place six on the Texas Supreme Court. We're going to have a blue sweep on November the 4th. We are. We are. We are. You need to speak close to Okay, me. thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, good evening. I think I probably traveled the furthest to get here today because I live in uh, in the valley, right along the the, uh, the the border. My name is Linda Yanez, and I am currently the senior justice on the 13th Court of Appeals. I was appointed by Governor Ann Richards in 1993. And... And have been reelected three times since. And when I was appointed, I became the first woman on my court and the first Latina ever to be an appellate justice in the state of Texas. And ladies and gentlemen, does the Supreme Court matter? Well, let me tell you, Karl Rove began his quest to take over the world with the Texas Supreme Court. The Republicans knew what they were doing. They know how important the judiciary is. And as Judge Jordan mentioned to you, and as I was you know, chatting with some of you in the group, all nine of the current members of the court are Republicans, and that matters to us. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, then a little bit about why I'm running, and then how it is that everyone who's here is going to help us win. My journey started... Um, in the cotton fields of South Texas and the vegetable fields of Illinois. You know, we live in a, wor in a, in a time of, of, of sound bites because we're trying to get our message out as quickly as possible. And if you look at my material, what we've done to sort of condense my biography is to say, you know, I'm a farm worker who became a school teacher, who became a lawyer, who became a judge. That was my trajectory. And I'm also the mother of uh, lawyers. I tell people that my grandson thinks that all women are lawyers. <laughs> and uh, you ladies, uh, I took the Illinois bar exam when I was eight and a half months pregnant with my youngest daughter. So when she was getting ready to take the bar, I said, Amparo, you'll be great. You already sat through the bar exam. And, and, and in fact, she did. And she herself now is a part-time municipal judge in, uh, in Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, I, when I went to law school, I went for a reason. I had a purpose. And as corny as it sounds, it was to go back to my community to work on issues that I had really cared about. That's why I started out as a legal aid lawyer with the Legal Assistance Foundation of Chicago. Then I came to Texas. I'm licensed in Illinois and in Texas and came to work for Legal Aid in Texas. Ronald Reagan got elected president. He cut our funds. We couldn't do the work we, were we wanted to do. So then I went into private practice. I then became regional counsel for the Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, <clears throat> working on uh, predominantly voting rights issues. And uh, I was on the litigation team that drew the district from, the, from which the first uh, Latino was elected to Congress from the Midwest. I also worked on a case that went to the United States Supreme Court where the court ruled in our favor that all children should get a public school education in Texas. And then I, I moved on and I became a, a law teacher and was a clinical instructor at the Harvard Law School. And while I was at Harvard, President Clinton was elected president and I served on the Clinton-Gore transition team and I headed up the immigration team for, for the Clinton-Gore team. And then I get the call that the governor